A new generation of young female CEOs is using the power of the web. The focus is on women such as themselves, part of the idea to tap tremendous purse power. Gigi Stone with me now to talk about one of these entrepreneurs. And basically, this is TV for entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs, right? Basically, for career women, essentially. I sat down with CEO Amy Palmer, and she's basically in the process of launching her very own network. You may have seen the ads in New York City taxi cabs. Now, Amy was a TV host and producer for years, and she felt there wasn't enough programming out there aimed at smart, successful career women. So she decided to create some of her own, and she attracted the attention of investors who are fueling her vision. Take a look. It's taking authentic conversation, authentic programming, real life dialogue and real life issues and giving it to women who are asking for it. I think that women have responded to Power Women TV and they are saying thank you to me for this network because they are craving authentic conversation and they're looking at women who are on television that are like them. What do you think is attractive to an investor about this project. I've been able to sort of uh, cultivate this power woman team of women who already have relationships with brands and have a presence to American women through morning shows or you know shows that in prime time. So brands are attracted to those women and advertisers. It's also an empowering message. So a lot of brands want to speak to women in the way that I'm talking about. Empowerment, education, they want to speak to the breadwinners because they know they have money to spend. Power Women TV is about women who are breadwinners and decision makers in their households. And we know that most women are making the choices. What kind of car are we buying? What kind of house are we buying? Can the kids go to college? They're balancing the checkbooks. With that being said, those are the women that Power Women TV speaks to and therefore the advertisers are attracted to that. So from an investor point of view, they're looking at my brand, which has been completely strategic about from everything, the logo, from the editing and the producing of it, from the women who are involved in it. And they're saying, I get this and I want to be a part of it. Women control 12 trillion of the 18.4 trillion in global consumer spending. That's according to Boston Consulting Group. And Power Women TV, Deirdre, is really just trying to tap into that. Okay, so where can we see it? You know, it actually is going to be available a lot on mobile platforms, in New York City taxi cabs, uh, on the elevators, those TV screens, gas station TV. She really wants it to be attractive to mobile platforms, busy women everywhere, women who are on the go and aren't sitting at home watching television. Well, that makes all the sense in the world, especially as we go more and more mobile. But it's interesting as well, it seems like the editorial voice that she's using and that the, the content is 100% focused on women, driven by women for women, which is different than anything else that's out there. And that's the key. And she really wants it to be the anti Real Housewives of Atlanta or, or those kinds of shows. She really wants to attract women who are busy, who are moms, who are having careers, and she wants it to be beneficial to them, useful to them. So okay. and it's I guess an interesting her, idea. You said she was a correspondent herself, so mm. she already knows media. Absolutely, and a producer, and she felt like a lot of the decisions were being made by men. Okay, as yes. <laughs> so now this is part of a series that you are doing mm -hmm. on CEOs, female CEOs. Who's next? Tomorrow we'll be introducing uh, the CEO of Rent the Runway, Jennifer Hyman. We sat down with her, and you know this started as a dress rental company, so give women a taste of high fashion at a fraction of the cost. It now boasts more than three million members. It, it estimated to be valued at more than two hundred million dollars. This is serious business. Well, it's serious business, and they caught on to something too, which is when women go to black tie events, they don't always want to wear the same dress twice. So, for a fairly low cost access to high fashion, they kind of get that little buzz. Absolutely, it's very practical, and their idea is not to revolutionize the fashion industry, to democratize it, give everyone the ability to feel like you know Cinderella on that special night.